everyone welcome back to another video and if you're new here then thanks for joining us today and today I am doing the latest in beauty March edition the glow down um, it is late I know it's April already um, but I did hang out on right till the end um, because there was a couple of products that I wanted I missed out on one because it sold out before I could finish my box but yeah this month's was all about glow there was a lot of self tan fake tanning products which just isn't my kind of thing i am pasty and proud if you're offended by white legs don't come near me in the summer um but yeah i did wait because there were a couple of things that i liked the look of i've got six items again this month um and i haven't seen much about april's box i think it's going to be more natural products and things for april so i'm not sure um because i haven't seen any sneak peeks um i missed them the other day when they were on instagram I'm not sure whether there's going to be any products that I'm going to be interested in getting this month. So it might be a month that I skip. But I will, um, if I do get one, I will upload my box. So I'm going to open it up to show you what we've got. So there's always a few leaflets in. This one's um, Mindful Chef. Um, I think that's like a little discount for Mindful Chef. I don't think I ever use these things. Um, there's a couple of information leaflets, one about New by Nature, one about Nexus, which were both products that I picked up. And then we all, in this month's box, got a spa break um, voucher to be redeemed. I'm not sure whether it's five or ten pounds, but yeah, I'll look into that. Might be something that I can do. Um, yeah, definitely got six products this month. I'll just get rid of all of this stuff which will now end up all over my bed so that I can show you what we've got inside I'll try and do a little view of the box and um, there are a couple of items that I don't think were part of this month's edit which were just um, products that are on um, or have been on for a while so I will show you those first first up I got this which is the Sopa Dupa Zesty Lemon Body Scrub um, I got one of these in my January latest in beauty box um but it was a different scent i've been using it recently really like it love a good body scrub um this one has got smoothing coconut um twist of orange derived from more than 84 percent natural ingredients no parabens colors mineral oils or any of the usual sub suspects 250 ml so it's a good size product um Sopa Dupa are a great brand. They sponsor, well, not sponsor, they support Water Aid, Clean the World. Um, yeah, they don't use plastic microbeads or parabens. So, yeah, it's a nice product. And I love a lemon or a zesty, fruity scent, especially in the summer. And that smells really, really nice. So, yeah, 250ml. So, that's always a good one to get. Nice big product. Next up, another one which I don't think was in this um, month's product, but I thought I would get Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly, Scrunching Jelly. And this is, uh, is it 50ml, this little bottle? Um, yeah, it says for scrunch drying all types of curl, times frizz, add shine and define. So you wouldn't know it from looking at my hair, but it is sort of naturally wavy. Um, and I just got this more for summer, for when I'm on holiday, because... I hate drying and straightening my hair when I'm away. I just think it takes up too much time and especially if it's really hot, I just can't be doing with a hair dryer and straighteners. So I tend to leave my hair to dry a bit more naturally and I thought this would be good to apply and just hopefully to tame a bit of the frizz when, that I get with my curls and waves. Uh, it just says, perfect product for scrunch drying, banishes frizz and adds shine with no crunchy feel. Adds definition to waves and curls, silicone free formula. See so, ya. Yeah. Thought that would be good to try in summer. 50 ml, so I'll let you know how I get on with that one. Oh, I wonder what it smells like. Because, you know, I've been using some hair care products at the moment that smell like chocolate. And they're amazing. Um, it smells... <laughs> it smells a bit weird, hang on. It smells like soap. It smells really clean, quite fresh. It's actually a really nice smell. Because if it smells horrible, I'm not going to want to put it in my hair, but yeah. Oh, and it's made in the UK, which is always good. So yeah, happy with that one. Next, we've got the Nude by Nature product. And this was the sort of hero product or their sort of most wanted product this month. And Nude by Nature put this little leaflet in. 
They are proudly cruelty free and PETA certified and they deliver high performing natural formulas that provide a beautiful finish and benefits that go beyond makeup. Free from synthetic silicones, talc and parabens which is really really good and I think are they an Australian company? I think they might be an Australian company. But this is a little highlighting stick that we've got. This is shade 02 Rose. I mean, it's really pretty packaging. It's like this coppery rose gold. Just a little type there with um, Nude by Nature. Um, we shall open it up and have a look. That is the colour. I will give it a little swatch. I mean, I don't use... Well, I say I don't. I've never used a, a sort of solid or stick highlighter. Um, I mean, it's a really pretty coppery colour. can't really see it a lot there on my skin. But then I do go for a more natural makeup look. So maybe this will be good for me in the summer. It hasn't got a nasty smell or any sort of chemically smell about it. I mean, it feels really nice on the skin, really soft. And it has got just a really slight sheen. That's nice. I'm glad I picked that up. I think in summer that will look really nice. Next up, what should we go for? Oh, this one wasn't also, this one wasn't part of the um, the March collections. Like I said, there was a lot of self-tan and fake tan and oh, it's just not for me. So there was a lot of products that I wasn't interested in. This, however, I had seen on there um, last month, if you all focus. Um, and it is a cleanser. I don't think it's going to focus. Thank you, camera, for playing up. It's little grapefruit um, grapefruit face cleanser it's 29 mil uh, by marlin and goetz i think that is and yeah i just thought it sounded interesting foaming cleansing gel synthesizes natural grapefruit extract with amino acid based cleansing agents gently and thoroughly purifies and hydrates unlike traditionally harsh detergents to balance all skin types rinsing free of residue without irritation drying or stripping helping to reduce epidermal stretch stress natural fragrance and color easily integrated into daily maintenance and prevention regime so it is just a, it does actually say sample on it and that's the only thing that bothers me is that it says sample because um i just think i am paying for this service and Although I love getting samples, um, I think they should be free if they're a sample size. So if this was like a mini or like advertised as a deluxe mini or it was a, a small miniature product that you could buy, then I'm happy with that. But I am a little bit annoyed when I just get a sample. Um, it doesn't really smell of anything other than that sort of cleany soap smell. And there's not an awful lot in the bottom. I'm having to squeeze that quite a lot to get any near the surface. I'm not getting a massive grapefruit scent, but I thought that would be perfect, that little size just for travelling. I just want to take a little face cleanser away with me. That would be perfect. Um, I then got, I am a sucker for a face mask. Anyone who's seen any of my videos before will know how much I love face masks. I have an absolutely massive box full of face masks. Um, and I have said before on my channel that my under eye is an area that I really, really struggle with, that i um, I'm really conscious of so when I saw these by Patchology um, rejuvenating eye gels I thought this was definitely something that I had to try to see whether they will do anything for my under eye area and this just says the anytime perk me up um, apply take five and go one pair of eye gels and place onto clean and dry under eye area for five minutes or longer if desired desired discard after use massage remaining serum into skin and these are rejuvenating eye gels so yeah i was interested in trying those i love an eye mask i haven't found one yet that does masses for my under eye area but i'm i live in hope i live in hope any recommendations would be much appreciated and then this is the last product that i picked up and this is nexus encapsulate serum caviar which looks really fancy with all the little beads in and the silver packaging and this is for your hair i am desperately desperately trying to grow my hair i mean it is getting longer um if you've seen i think it was in my january favorites video i included a hair growth spray that i've been using i'm not sure if it's working whether it's um helping to grow my hair any quicker than usual but i do feel like it's getting there it's getting a bit more length on it now so when I saw this, I thought I would pick it up um, and try it out on my hair and see whether it helps. Um, the little card that came 
in the box says that this is conditioning yet lightweight serum which is multi-use is suitable for wet hair to improve manageability and can be applied to dry hair throughout the day to smooth and nourish so i thought this would be great and i would just apply it mainly to my ends before maybe drying and then obviously during the day if i feel like they're a bit frizzy or a bit fly away um yeah and i thought it looked like a really nice product this is 15 ml so it's i mean for a serum that's a decent amount you only need a tiny bit and it does say on the um card two to five pumps for shorter lengths four to eight for longer lengths um i mean four pumps of serum for me even though my hair isn't particularly short i think would be way way too much i literally only put a little bit of serum in otherwise i just find that it weighs my hair down too much and looks greasy um but yeah i i'm happy with this product again though on the back it says free sample not for sale and when you've purchased a box and it says that it's a sample and it's not for sale it is a little bit disappointing um just because yeah i have paid for this pro these products i know obviously with the box with the subscription boxes you're not paying as much as you would if you were buying a full price a full size set of products but that's part of the part of the joys of um a beauty box is that you get to try things um at discounted rates so yeah a little bit disappointed that two of my items have definitely said sample and not for individual sale so that's a little bit disappointing um latest in beauty if you want to comment on that then please feel free to because i always do feel a little bit disappointed if they want to put a sample in as a freebie there's a little added extra when you sometimes get the perfume samples and things in like say your glossy box or whatever they're always like a little additional here's a little sample on us sort of thing then that's always really welcome these are a little bit bigger than your perfume samples usually are but still it is a little bit disappointing so there's my march box i mean i waited a long time and i'll tell you what i waited for i waited for these bad boys i was desperate to try these um i've heard good things about uh, patchology and their face masks so i was really interested in trying these and i also really wanted to try the hair serum um i've used loads of serums in the past but um always on the lookout for a good a good one um yeah not overly impressed with march's box i mean i'm happy with my products obviously you you pick your own so i'm happy with everything that i've got a little bit disappointed by the sample ones these two in particular um, but yeah, I'm happy with all of them and I will definitely, definitely use all of them, which is what I love about this subscription service. Um, the latest in beauty subscription service is great because you can pick what you have and the products change all the time and every month they are doing a different sort of um, theme. So this month's was the glow down, lots of products for bronzing and tanning and adding glow to your skin and april's i'm pretty sure is a natural everything's sort of natural maybe vegan using natural ingredients which is great so i'm looking forward to looking into that and hopefully maybe getting one of those and um, let me know what you thought down below on the box let me know if you bought this box and what you got what you picked up um favorite product definitely the eye patches for me really really looking forward to using those although i also think this little highlighting stick will be lovely in summer i'm looking forward to using that as well Thanks for watching guys and if you're not already subscribed then please do click that little red subscribe button down below. If you click the little bell next to it then you'll get notified every time I upload a video. I do loads of videos on hauls, reviews, unboxings so if that's your kind of thing then please stick around and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and I'll see you for another video soon. Thanks. Bye.